So let's go into our browser and click refresh and we should, yeah, there we go. So now what we've got is an, a textual representation or an image representation of our text by using these functions that I've already mentioned. So really it's quite simple um, if you remember these functions, remember what they do and also remember the parameters and in which order they go. Um, it hasn't taken me long to learn this. Um, you do forget after a while and you have to sort of refer back to things. But it's generally pretty simple and you get quite a neat output. So this is quite cool. Um, we've got example at example.com. Uh, like I said earlier in the tutorial, I want this to be dynamic. For example, you could keep your generate.php file on your website somewhere and refer back to it every time you wanted to convert, say, a public email address that's going to be displayed to an image. So you want to make this... Um, Stat the static uh, variable that we've got here more dynamic so we want to take user input or um, input that's going to be processed through um, our, uh, our code eventually so all I'm going to do is modify this and change it to get um, email um, in fact probably the best thing to do would be to make this a bit more just a bit more flowing and working properly I'm going to say if is set dollar underscore get email then set that to um, then set that to email otherwise I want to say echo oh no sorry I don't want to echo no 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 I want to say email equals no email specified okay so what's going to happen now is we're going to check for this get variable and if so we're going to put it into the uh, email um, variable that's going to be used by our program so we're now working with more dynamic input um, otherwise um, the email is just going to equal no email specified so let's go onto our generate.php and just hit refresh no email specified so now what I can do is I can specify the email here and I can say email equals example or we'll say example at phpacademy.org just so we've got a bit of change going on and you can see that that email address is now written out so let's try putting um, some uh, long value in it so let's just say example at phpacademy.org again but we'll copy and paste this over and over again uh, just so we can see how the length of this image changes now let's say we were to just um, specify a width for ourselves we could I'm going to cut this so I can use it again later let's say a 20 for example now let's go into our generate file and you can see that it's only just giving us um, a bit of this uh, a bit of this um, image so we're using this function we're not we're not we're not creating any code for the sake of it we're doing this so everything is dynamically updated and we don't lose out on any data and also this this also means um, Sorry, uh, this also means that we what we're doing is we're not wasting any data. I mean, we could say, well, the image width could be a thousand, you know, pixels long or, or ten thousand pixels long or something, but we're only creating it here um, the size we actually need it. So we're saving up on processing time and we're saving up on space as well, or or rather uh, memory. So now what we need to do is work out how we're going to put this into a form. Now, the problem here is, like I said, up here I could say, yeah, I'm going to write email. Um, and what should happen now is it should say email, it should break down a line, and then it should output this image. When in actual fact, when we refresh the page, we get all of this gobbledygook come up, cannot modify header information, headers already sent in this page, and then we get the literal um, sort of textual, you know, representation of the JPEG as if you were to open it up in a text editor so this looks a massive mess at the moment um, and we also can't put um, output within our code so I could say um, well after the header then we can say uh, email and then a break but if you refresh you see that nothing comes up now because you've ruined the content of your page this content type is image JPEG it's nothing else no text nothing we're just outputting an image and that's it so how do we go about doing this because the image now exists as a PHP file if you look in here we're we're essentially dealing with what's a dynamic JPEG we've got generate.php and we've got a uh, an argument after here or an input variable after here so how are we going to insert this, what we've got here, 
and let me just highlight it no I can't so what what we're gonna do to put this email address inside an actual image on our page because we can't use this at the moment as it is well that's where index.php come comes in like I mentioned earlier I'm gonna set up a, a profile page if you like um, with exactly how I do it normally so well, I wouldn't do it normally like this but let's say we've got uh, name and that equals some dynamic value so it could be Alex um, then we'll break down a couple more times and we'll say email will break down now what we want to do is we want to output this image from generate.php in here so how are we gonna go about doing that well we're gonna create an image like we would in um, oh, sorry not double equals uh, an image like we normally would in HTML and we'd normally say something like um, image.jpg here or email.jpg or something but what we can actually do that you might not already know is we can insert the contents of a file in here and because generate.php is being processed as an image type it will actually pick up inside image source as an image itself so what we can do is we can say generate.php um, and what that's going to do now obviously we haven't specified an image so this part of our code is going to take action um, so let's go ahead and refresh the page, the index page this time, not the generate.php page. So index.php. You can see that we've got name, Alex, and an email, no email specified. So now inside image source, we can now start predefining um, post or using get variables. So I'm now going to say email equals Alex um, or example at example.com and we can refresh and you can see now we're on our index page everything's fine but we now just have a graphical representation of an email address now just a few notes the whole purpose of this tutorial was being able to create some text as an image in order to maintain some level of, of security on the website so this email address cannot be obtained now let's go ahead and look at the page source uh, and you'll see that we've got this image source equals generate.php email equals example at example.com now there lies a problem in in our method because it's flawed what we actually have now is a, a text um, representation of our email address still existing in our code now there's a couple of ways that you can solve this and I'm not going to do it but I'm just going to talk about it briefly um, if you've dealt with databases and retrieving values from databases what we could do is we could say email equals and we could maybe supply a user ID here instead now that user ID might correspond to a value in a database in which it, an email address is stored um, in fact let's go ahead and quickly make an example and um, we're going to need to connect to our database but if you've already look at, looked at that you should be comfortable with this